Okay, I'm going to run you through a little scenario. You're at a customer's house and you're reinstalling Windows XP. You get Windows XP installed, you boot for the first time, and you realize you have no internet access because obviously Windows didn't install the network driver for you. Now, one of two things can happen. Well, actually only one. You can whip out your laptop or go to a different machine, download the driver, put it on a thumbstick, bring it over to the computer, it's, it's really, a, or actually if you can't find the driver on the website, you have no idea what kind of network card it is, you have to go around the internet, search for the driver, it can take 10 minutes to find the right, or even more. Now, you might say you can make a Windows install CD, which actually integrates um, all the LAN drivers you could possibly want. Now, that is true, you could do that. The problem is, in the very beginning stage of the XP install, when it copies all the files to the hard drive via that nice little dossy looking blue screen, the more drivers you add considerably adds to the time it takes to copy files. Um, you can do it, but to, for me it just really bogs down the install time. Now I bought a new uh, 16 gigabyte lockable thumbstick. And the one neat thing I did, now online you can get a driver pack. It's a website that has driver packs for video, audio, chipsets, sound, you name it. Now in the past I've taken that entire driver pack folder and thrown it on a CD. And you just slap the CD in the drive, go for the drivers, um, go to update the driver for the, or install the driver for the network card, point it to the disk and it sits there and it churns and churns for about you know, a minute and a half. And finally it installs the driver. But what I thought, since I have this huge amount of storage on this new device, I thought we could do this. Now, I thought, what if we make the, um, the driver pack into an ISO and put each ISO driver pack on my stick, um, as you'll see here. So underneath drivers, we have chipset, graphics, LAN, sound, and wireless. Now, yes, uh, we could, in order to install this, we have to install Damien tools. Now, I don't like Damien tools because you run the install. It makes you reboot first. It feels like it does a lot to your system when all you want to do for the customer is just install this one little driver, and you'll probably want to uninstall Damien tools when you get done. So here's what I found online. It's a tool called um, VCD-ROM, which is a very fast ISO mounter for a little quick job, and I'll show you how easy it is. You open this VCD control tool, and you click driver control. We're just going to go say and say, install driver. Now it's going to say, well, where's the driver that you want to install? Well, in this case, it's in the program directory. We'll hit start. Now we're going to say, let's go ahead and add a drive. There's a drive. Let's go ahead and mount an image in the drive. We're going to go ahead and go to my driver folder, and we'll mount LAN devices. Hit OK. There it is. Now if we go to my computer, we'll see we now have a new Z drive. It's just that simple. So now to install our um, network device that was not detected during uh, the XP setup, it's as easy as this. And of course, you know, you go to the hardware tab, go to the Ethernet controller, reinstall, no, next. And so now it's searching the thumbstick, which is a lot faster than searching the CD-ROM driver, let me tell you. So now it's doing its thing. Uh, the driver pack for the LAN drivers is not that big, so it doesn't take a whole lot of time to search it. So it looks, it looks, it really depends on the computer too and the thumbstick. One nice thing about this is it, I've never had this not work. I mean, this thing has every land driver possible. Um, so you can, th you can throw anything at it and it'll find it. So there we go. We now have internet access. But let's go one step further. Let's go ahead and unmount that drive. Let's go ahead and remove the drive, and we'll add a new one. This time we're going to go ahead and mount the one called Sound. There we go. Let's go ahead and do Multimedia Audio, Reinstall Driver, No, and Find. We'll just do these two just to kind of show you. Now, yes, it might take, you know, 20 seconds or so for it to find the driver, but let me tell you, it's a lot simpler than figuring out. Let's see, multimedia audio controller. Which audio controller is that? I have no idea. Um, there we go. Continue. Now, 
Now, nothing's worse than having a chipset or an SMB controller not be found and have a go look all around the internet for it. And that chipset.